Hello people, this is Sonali, the Melodramatic Bookworm. If you've been here before, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to the Melodramatic Bookworm family. Also welcome to episode 14 of Coffee Talk. For those of you who don't know, Coffee Talks are chatty videos in which I drink coffee and in which I share about the books that I'm currently reading and any topics that I have in mind that I want to share with you. These used to be a monthly thing but uh, a lot has changed since those days but I'm hoping that this will uh, once again become a uh, monthly thing a tradition of sorts in which i get to chat with you and share with you about the things that are going on in my life in today's video i will be talking to you about the books that, that i'm currently reading the projects that i'm currently working on of course some of them i can't actually talk about i can't tell everything about them to you in detail wait one minute let me take a sip and put it there because my hand is aching this is hot and heavy Yes. In addition to that, I will also be talking to you about a little announcement that uh, I will be making in uh, tandem with Writer's Melon. For those of you who haven't watched it, I did an interview with the founder of Writer's Melon, Priyanka Purkayasta, and uh, the editor-in-chief of Writer's Melon, Priyanka Roy Banerjee, uh, last Sunday. If you would like to go check that out, link will be here as well as in the description box below. Please do go check that out. It was a very informative, very enlightening session that we had. It went on for more than one hour and I had a lot of fun interview, interviewing the two ladies. And today's announcement will be uh, about that. It will be about me and Writer's Melon. So um, yeah, that's one thing. And then I also want to talk about a couple of things that have been irritating me on social media these days. Okay. So without any further ado, let's dive right into this video. Let me share with you everything that I want to share with you. Okay, first up, according to tradition, the books that I'm currently reading. The thing is, I am not reading anything currently. I actually just finished reading a book yesterday, uh, which was the 15th of June. And the book was House of Salt and Sorrows by Erin A. Craig and I really liked this like it is very eerie it's creepy it's uh, it, it just scared me there's mention of ghosts and gods and bargains made with tricksters and whatnot this was a good one to enjoy but I really I did think that towards the end the author sort of did not explain the things that should have been explained and I was really looking forward to getting that explanation as a reader. I wouldn't say this book let me down. It is a good book. If you're looking for a good horror to chill you out then I think this would be a good one to get into. I even gave this about four stars if I'm not mistaken but I just wish that ending would have been better. But yes so this is the book that I finished reading yesterday so right now I'm in the middle of books uh, but I will be starting another book today uh, which I, I don't know which one it's going to be I, I think I'm going to be reading on my Kindle because 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 of a certain project that I have started I want to keep it a secret until I uh, bring that video out but I'm really excited for that because finally finally I'll be reading those books that I've been I've just shoved aside for a long long time but one second hmm so coming to the projects that I uh, I'm currently doing the first one is obviously a secret project that I was just talking to you about there are actually two secret projects and uh, I don't know how the how they will go I'm I'm planning to do reading vlogs for them but uh, I, I have no idea how they're going to go. I'm just going to try my hand at it. Similar to those, I have two more projects, but they are very extensive. Like uh, they might even take months to finish. So I'm not going to dwell on that right now. Uh, and uh, obviously uh, videos, I will be making uh, my first book haul of 2022 because the first half of 2022 was like that. I was not able to post the customary first book haul uh, in the first half. 
but i will be doing that very soon i don't know how soon but very soon and then i have a couple of other videos that i want to do but i don't know how i will be able to implement them one is one i actually know how to do it uh, that is uh, the list of my list of favorite authors and i i think by now you'll know who is going to figure on that list yeah like i also want to do i wanted to, to do a uh, may wrap up but uh, i was not able to do it uh, instead and now it's too late for that because today is the 16th but uh, i think i will be able to do a may and june wrap up combined and uh, i will be able to put that video up for you to see in july maybe in july also it will take some time for me to put it up but uh, hopefully things will get there as to my blog uh, i have become more active over there because of different reasons that i have already spoken about in uh, a blog post and in a video that i had made earlier i i think if you want to follow my blog then please 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 go do because uh, i have some amazing ideas i don't know how they are going to come out how they are going to be implemented but i have some amazing ideas for my blog and i will be posting a lot more over there so if you'd like to go follow me there link is always always in the description box below okay so that was my blog and booktube update now to the announcement i will be making videos two videos a month is what i am expecting at the moment but i will be making videos for writers melon as well where i talk about uh, a lot of other things i make uh, i talk about book recommendations i give you uh, writing tips and a lot more that's about to you know blow up on that channel so if you would like to keep up with that then please 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 go follow them as well uh priyanka does a lot of author interviews and a lot of uh tips you can glean from those videos as well and um yeah uh, i'm very very excited to be working with writers melon because especially because i've known them for such a long time and i know that uh, and i know their passion for books so yeah that is the big announcement i will be working with writers melon on their uh, uh youtube channel and i will be making videos for them but yeah you please go follow them you will be finding content over there from me as well as as well as on this channel uh so don't worry about that that this is not going anywhere you're just getting additional content from me just on a different channel plus writers melon is awesome it's a great community for book lovers so that's one of the major reasons why you should be following their channel Oh, in my excitement to talk about Writer's Melon, I completely forgot to mention this when it came to my BookTube channel that I will be bringing back subscriber pick uh, videos very soon. I am hoping from July, but if that's not the case, then definitely from August. But I will be bringing back subscriber picks very, very, very soon, and I'm super, super, super excited to do that because I used to have a lot of fun doing subscriber picks. Uh, but as uh, the whole situation changed last year. Uh, I will not be doing a uh, book review towards the end because I feel like it got repetitive. I will only be doing a reading vlog for the subscriber picks. So, yeah, I'm super excited to do this as well and I'm hoping that you will enjoy this content, this new refurbish, not refurbish, that's a wrong word. Uh this new renewed content on my channel. Okay, uh there are just two more topics that i want to talk about i'm going to keep this really short but uh one is about white authors white male authors who feel entitled to everything in the whole wide world just a couple of days ago james patterson a 52 year old white male author said that um white writers also experience racism and that there is no market for 52 year old male writers and i went bro your whatever best seller list no that is filled with white male authors what are you talking about what are you on about yeah the the whole concept that a white male author is being discriminated against and he does not have a market 
for it or he's not earning enough while he's sitting on his estate and uh, hobnobbing with the types of uh, the the Clintons I think if I'm not mistaken that seems very outlandish and uh, very and a very entitled thing to say and the thing that came out of this was book twitter united against him like I've never seen book twitter come together so hard at the same time and I'm really happy for that but I'm also I I don't even know why I'm saying I'm sad that that fellow thinks like that but because it's white male privilege and we've been seeing that privilege play out since the beginning of time yeah that that was my little rant i don't know if it was little but it was my little rant it just got my blood boiling uh, to no end that was one topic and another uh, this last one was something that we spoke about in the live session that uh, we did with priyanka both the priyankas uh, from writers melon uh, it's talking about publishing and how publishing says that it has no money see the beauty industry the uh, travel industry the food industry all of them they treat the reviewers better they treat the the reviewers as something good because they need those reviews and the way that the publishing publishing industry thinks they can take reviewers and throw them in the bin like they are nothing it just boils my blood and also i have a problem with indian uh this indian system as a whole is problematic but then again when it comes to uh book reviewers and uh, how the visibility that we need to get we are nowhere booktubers are nowhere if you see the youtube uh, india the youtube creators india and the youtube india handle on twitter they are forever going on about travel bloggers about food bloggers about how this person uh, did something in the confines of their own home and uh, they brought awareness to people fine i'm really in awe of all of them i appreciate all of them but booktubers are people who do that exact same thing we sit at home we make content for free and we are actually talking to you about books we are giving you recommendations and the like give booktubers the recommendations make a separate uh, a playlist or series or whatever you want for booktubers do something for this whole industry i just want for once i just want to find one indian booktuber in there one it's never she's never there so if the global youtube like which is sitting in america obviously they can create uh, a series called booktube and they can call big booktubers and interview famous people why can't youtube india do that just do something like netflix and uh, netflix netflix also when shadow and bone released i think they called uh, some booktubers to react to the trailer why doesn't that happen here when so many book to movie adaptations are being made over here kobal blue came out what happened zilch nothing and i just wish this would change i just wish youtube and netflix and all these big companies and all the publishers as well they think and they try to understand where where we figure in this whole scheme of things say i'm not saying that without us uh, you won't sell books etc 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 nothing like that i don't remember exactly where i saw this but someone was saying uh, if you are after money then don't do this do this for the passion do this for the love of the books excuse me that's exactly what we are doing but if i were in any other field if i were a beauty blogger or if i were a food blogger i wouldn't be getting this do this for the passion kind of comments i would actually be appreciated for calling out the beauty industry or food industry or travel industry or whatever it is i would be appreciated for calling them out this way but right now what happened nothing anyway yeah so that was the end of my little rant this went on for uh, like ha huh. i don't know i'm going to be cutting out a lot of this but yeah that was the end of my little rant and uh, thus we come to the end of this coffee talk video uh accompanied by some ice cream bells ready to go cool bro this woman is screaming bazu se so that
that was the end of episode 14 of coffee talk and uh, what do you think of this video did you like it did you not like it uh, what do you think of my thoughts uh, i was just sounding them out loud and uh, my what do you think of house of salt and sorrows what do you think of the projects that i'm coming up with are you going to go and uh, subscribe to writer's melon which i highly recommend that you do because a new video is coming in just a couple of days and uh, i'm really excited for it so just go subscribe and also if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel then please do already and let me know in the comments your thoughts about anything in the whole wide world or if you'd like me to make any video in particular if you like this video please like it and share it to spread the word and if you like my content and would like to see more from me don't forget to hit subscribe and click on the bell icon beside the subscribe button to get notified as and when i post new videos Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, keep reading, keep watching and add melorama to your life.